Hi, my name is Guido Grillenmeyer, Principal Technologist for Semperis. What if I told you you could discover AD vulnerabilities and risky configurations in hybrid environments before attackers do? With Directory Services Protector, you can minimize the attack surface by constantly analyzing your Active Directory Forest and Azure AD tenant configuration for security vulnerabilities and changes that represent possible indicators of compromise. Let's log in to the Directory Service Protector interface. I'm an administrator in this environment, signing in. And for this demonstration, we're interested in seeing the security tab. So I'm going to click on security. And so that we have the complete space here, I can even take that uh, and minimize it on the left the menu. Now we basically see a dashboard that gives you an overview of your complete um, security posture of your identity systems that includes uh, on-prem Active Directory environment and Azure AD and a view of um, indicators with misconfigurations and basically a potential of compromising the environment. You can quickly gauge how many of your indicators are informational warnings or critical Basically, you can scroll here and look through the whole list or look at them individually or see the summary of the different categories like we have displayed up here. The indicators are regularly updated and can be automatically integrated into your DSP instance as new indicators are discovered and developed by our research team. For instance, in this environment, I have uh, an indicator that warns us of permission changes on the admin SD holder object. Now that object is a critical object because it determines the permissions of all of your most critical accounts, domain admins, enterprise admins, etc. So if somebody mucks around with it, it's a hint that potentially an intruder is trying to persist in your environment. We can also see that the printer spooler service is still enabled on some of the DCs in this environment. And that's another easy way that intruders could leverage and compromise your domain controllers by utilizing the printer nightmare bug or other weaknesses to compromise your environment. Finally, we actually see here, let me scroll up a bit, dangerous user rights granted by a group policy. And when I click into this, as I could with any other indicator, I actually see the details and the description of what this indicator is actually about the likelihood of attack that somebody could uh, utilize um, the risks that we are showing here. And when I drill even deeper into the history, I actually see the runtime when the alert was found the first time. I actually see that up here and here I see uh, when it was recurrently checked and I can see the details as to what was actually found. So if I click here and look at what was actually found in this analysis of the group policies, I see two different group policies, my computer settings and my server settings. And in the one policy, the backup privileges is, uh, and privilege is, a, is assigned to uh, domain users, certainly nothing that you want to have for your domain users. And then there is individual accounts that are assigned the SETCB privilege to my server settings. Um, policy that is assigned to a particular OU in my environment. Now, this is a policy that grants those users to act as part of the operating system. So it's definitely something that you would want to act on and clear out of the environment to increase your security again. As you can see, DSP provides a very simple way to get prioritized action-oriented guidance from a community of AD security threat researchers, which allows you to reduce your attack surface to stay ahead of the ever-evolving threat landscape. For more information on the DSP solution I've just shown you, or any of our solutions, feel free to visit our website at semparis.com. Thanks.